Look at me. Why are you hitting me? Because I can't see you when I ask you three times. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Hi. Nami, and today Michael, my husband, and I are going to talk about some uh, <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> stories of the times when we were caught during our dating times. Caught? Yeah, like what is that? Is that what we're talking about or not? Well, there was one time that Nami and I were walking down a busy street. Oh, yeah. Was this before my parents knew? No, they knew right away. Wasn't it before we were dating? I don't remember. Because she called me and she was like, Nami, where are you? And I said, oh, I'm walking right now. And then she said, who are you with? And I said, I'm with Isabella. And we were at the library. And now we're going to her, or now we're at her house. Because we were just walking by my friend's house. But I was actually walking with Michael on like the main street of... Toronto, which is called Young Street, is actually the longest street road in the, in the whole world. It's a pretty busy street. Mm -hmm. I think I would have said it was you if like there was yeah. already that introduction. No, we didn't even start dating yet. Yeah, we probably weren't officially pursuing our relationship seriously at that at that point. No, We're kind of just spending officially. time together. Yeah, yeah. I guess I was like embarrassed to say I was with a guy, and I don't want my mom to worry. So I just said right. I'm with my friend Isabella. Okay. My mom's like dot dot dot, and then I'm like dot dot dot, and then she was like, "Where are you?" And I, I was like, "I told you, I'm at Isabella's house." I was walking on the side of the road, and you were walking kind of inside where the stores are, and right. then you were kind of looking at me on the phone, and I was kind of looking at you. Yeah. And then from the corner of my eye, I see like a car driving alongside the curb really slowly, mm -hmm. and it was the color of my mom's car, and I was like, "She's here," but I didn't want to look. And then Michael is already looking my way, so he sees the car, and he's like, um, Nami, um, and then I'm like, I know. And then, and then I'm, I'm just like, thinking, what do I do? And then you're just like, uh. All I remember is that the car rolling up slowly. I think she rolled down her window and she was like, Balita. <laughs> right. And then we're both just like, and we went into the car. Yeah. And we're just silent, just. Yeah, we were in the back seat. She was pretty upset, like, at the fact that I was lying to her more than that I was with Michael but the <laughs> That's hilarious. the thing about that is like she met you before you came to my house to teach me guitar right a few times and then I think that incident happened and then when we started officially pursuing our relationship then we told both of our parents that we were yes. pursuing this relationship right away it's funny because I'm, we're walking like this on the street and <laughs> here's the road and the car like I like Nami's looking at me and I'm looking at Nami mm -hmm. and then the car is like kind of awkwardly cribbing yeah like cars don't drive like that following our like pace and i'm like nanny <laughs> i know i was like i was like i know <laughs> and i'm just like okay let's let's let's, let's get it over with <laughs> no i love those situations i hate them <laughs> it's like pressure and it's more like you face up you own up to you your responsibility. The reason why I was lying though is because I didn't want her to worry and I was on my way home anyway. Yeah, but she just wanted to pick me up and stalk me. So what I remember from after that was that the car ride was kind of quiet. I was driven home and I just left and said bye-bye and you went away. Yeah. It was kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that's when she told me not to lie. There was that and there was something one year later or so. But first, not to murder! Michael's wearing the black tee, classic black tee. The second story took place at my house, or like more specifically in the backyard. You finished work or something and you came and you were just like, I just want to see your face. And I biked all the way over to her house. I think it was kind of late, probably 10.30 after I finished work. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to visit you to say hi. And then I called you up and I said like, hey, I'm in your backyard, come out. Let's just see each other. Yeah. It was late, so I had to sneak out of the house. I was like, the first and only time I've ever sneaked out of the house. Somehow I had to go outside without anyone knowing. And like, I thought it'd be fine because usually they leave me alone in my room. They don't really right. bother me. Yeah. So I went outside and I took my phone just in case. I think we were out in the backyard for about like 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And then she discovered that I was missing. That's so random. But usually they don't bother me. What in are her chances just, of that? I know. It could have been just like any other evening where they just don't bother me. Yeah. But she had to somehow like either she noticed my shoes are gone or she couldn't have noticed like the sound of the door. Or, she came to my room and I'm not there. Or maybe it's because now that she knows that you're like officially in a relationship. Yeah. Every night it's like... Where is she? Where is she? Her hypersensitive 
<laughs> antennae. Yeah. And it's like she just like scans the floor of the shoes and like shoes are not missing. Check upstairs. No yeah! No yeah! And we were in the back and we were just saying hi and we're like hi. Right, and right, then... right, yeah. We had this really awkward hug. Yeah, you like crushed me. I'm sorry, I didn't know how to hug. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you still don't know how to hug. <laughs> Do you? Do you know how to hug? Like this. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's better than before. Reenact <laughs> our hug from that evening. No, no, no. You were more like this. And I'm I was like, like bending over I'm like, breaking. I'm like trying to like tackle her over like We're the same height. And so when he hugged me, he hugged me like instead of hugging me like this, he hugged me like this. So that means I'm like this. What a weird hug. I know, I was like <laughs> convex. <laughs> oh I don't think it was awkward. Was it awkward for you? It was just painful for me. I guess it was awkward because you, you, said, you said like you said like this is weird. <laughs> I think it's because it was painful. And I'm just like, oh, it's awkward. Immediately, I think after, my mom started calling my phone. Remember? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember. Like, you should, like, I was, and we were behind some bush. This is the backyard, but mm -hmm. there's a bush right here. So we were behind the bush. It was like a pretty tall hedge. Like we just wanted to see each other for like a few moments. Yeah. Yeah, and then say bye. Yeah. But then in those few moments, my mom like came out the porch door and she was like, Namia, Namia, Namia. And then she started calling my phone. So it's like she's outside calling my phone on the porch. We're like how many meters away We're like from her? Five meters like? away. And we just have this hedge between us. Yeah. <laughs> And then my phone starts ringing loudly. So we're just both standing there. We're like, we got caught red hand. We're like, this is loud. Yeah. And then she comes around the hedge and she sees it. Do you remember the look on her face? She was no. like, like, what is going on here? Yeah. And then you were just like, and then I was like, and we just like, we're just quiet. <laughs> I think she smacked you. She's oh. like, yeah. And then she smacked you. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> There was another time you came to my house after work at around the same time. My dad remembered this. I forgot about this. But we were talking about this the other day and my dad was like giggling and laughing so hard. So you came and you said, I'm outside your house. And so then I was like, oh really? So I went downstairs to the living room and I was looking at you out the window just saying hi. And then my dad passed the doorway and he saw me just standing there. So I just like ducked down and I was like, oh, uh, I think I lost something. <laughs> But he knew that I was like waving at you through the window. <laughs> hilarious. Did you know about that? No, I never understood what he was saying. He thought it was hilarious. He just giggles at it. That is all. hilarious. He's coming. Okay, you may have to include this. <laughs> so Zeke woke up and Michael's holding him right now. But those are the stories that we wanted to share with you. If you like talk type videos like this, we have more right here. So definitely check that out. Please let us know your embarrassing stories of being caught red-handed in a lie or things that you've done trying not to be caught, but like totally been caught. <laughs> we always love to read your stories. If you like this video and would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified right when new videos drop and to become part of the natural fam. I also post daily stories on Instagram and other cool photos, so definitely don't miss out on the content here as well. So that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Today's feature comment is from Asososoa. I wish I had this kind of father. You are really awesome and inspire me to raise my kids with all the love I have to offer. Thank you for being such an amazing dad. Thank you so much, Asososoa, for your comment. I am not sure if I can speak on behalf of my husband, Michael, but... I'm sure Michael would say thank you for your kind words. I also agree he's so great, but I think he would say that he's still learning and that everyone can always be better, but we definitely want to learn from the mistakes that we see around us, that we've also experienced from a child's perspective. Also be inspired and encouraged by the amazing examples of parenting that we also witness. If you'd like to see more videos with my husband or with the kids, we do have our family channel linked right here. Definitely make sure to subscribe there as well for double the videos and double the fun and double the time together. So that's it and I'll see you next time. Bye!